And welcome back to Big Chick Thrifts, where you come for the fashion, but I hope you stay because you know I love you. <laughs> Hi, you guys. It is another beautiful Sunday. It is another wonderful, blessed, amazing week. God brought us through another week. Can somebody say amen? All right. All right. So welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am your host, Nitra, aka Sugar Mama. All right. So this week I am feeling a whole lot better. I'm still healing. I'm still getting better. So I may sit for the remainder and while I show you fashions, but please remember I had surgery a week or so ago. So I'm still healing. I have to go see another specialist, but God is amazing and I know everything is going to work itself out. So keep me in your prayers. I love you. I welcome you here. If you are new, we are going to get this going. We're not going to drag this along, honey. And to the family members who are always here, honey, I love you and I love your comments. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you so much for always stopping by and checking on your girl. Let's have some fun, y'all. We got a lot to show you. Let's go. All right, you guys. So once again, I want to say thank you for tuning in. I love you guys. If nobody told you today, you know, I love you. And I'm only here because I need you to know that somebody loves you today, honey. I can't miss another week without letting you know somebody loves you. So we're going to jump into it. But I want to let you guys know there is no video this week or vlog for my workout and me hanging out and having a good time this week even though i had a good time but it was more so reflecting and relaxing um so please give me some grace bear with me we're gonna jump back into it it's gonna be a wonderful year but this week and um i'm gonna move in slowly so there may be some vlog next week on hanging out as i usually do and working out but give me some grace and we're going to get it together all the way together. But you got to heal. You have to take care of yourself first. So I'm just going to get into this haul this week. So I hope you guys enjoy. There is a lot to show you. I'm not going to show you everything, but I'm going to show you quite a bit. Honey, I don't want to overload your circuit. So I'm going to start with the accessories. And honey, I got some really good ones today. So. Uh, I think I'm going to show you like I, I I collectively had a lot of people, family members, loved ones just for Christmas and my birthday, send me and find stuff for me and send it to me. So my mom sent me quite a bit of jewelry. I won't show you all of it, but I will show you some of the pieces that she sent. And it's this cute little jewelry set with a pair of hoops and you can take the hearts off. I'll turn this down a little bit, but you can turn, I mean, you could take the heart off and just have hoops. And it's these two necklaces with this beautiful lock or locket with this cool way toggle. So instead of having to have some help, you just slide it through this little hoop or hole and I just thought that was so cute, honey. I thought it was so cute. My mama know I'm flashy and I love jewelry. So she sent me this for my birthday and Christmas. She sent me quite a bit of jewelry. Um, I'm going to use some of the other jewelry she sent because um, I like to make earrings. I like to make brooches. I like to make charms. So we're going to do a video later and I'll show you some of those. But this is another piece that she sent. Girl, look. And this me, I could have wore it today. And it's just this cool, really, really cool necklace that I really, really like. And it's not like it's going to poke you. It's not hard. The pieces are really rounded off. So it's not like it's going to hurt you or anything. But I could also use this as um, 
a pair of shoes and I'll show you in a second the pair of shoes that I have but I was going to show you like when you wear boots or a pair of shoes you can put this on your shoes as a piece of jewelry so I'm always looking for ways to um, use something instead of just one way but I thought this was really cute thank you ma'am thank you girl but I thought that was really really cute you guys so we'll go ahead and get into some of the eyewear I'm excited about the eyewear but I had some um rings and this ring actually bends I think I showed you guys this one before but I just threw these on with this cute little ring that I found here so I'm not gonna keep going with all the other accessories I wanted to get to these glasses girl so let's go all right, you guys, listen, I know I said I was going to go right into the the glasses, but I have one more thing I want to show you. My girlfriend, um, her name is Mary Carol, and she started her own little jewelry um, page. And if you look her up, it's Mary Carol Davis on Facebook. So she bought me this for Christmas and my birthday, and it's the cutest little earring holder. Can you see that? All of these are little brackets. Let's see if I can put my hand here. See those little brackets? You just hang earrings on. And she made all of these earrings. She made a couple more pair that I have that she that I got um, throughout the year. She always giving me earrings because she know I love jewelry. But she made these earrings and she's only selling them for a dollar. And I thought these were so cute. Look at these. These are like a bicycle chain or what the bicycle link chain goes on. But she makes all of these for a dollar and she bought me this little storage case. And all you do is hook the earrings through these little grommets or holes. And then you just sit it on your stand like this and it'll hold. Looks to be up to about 50 pair. Of earrings got to be about 25 on this side and 25 on the other one I will text her to see if any of you guys want to know where she got this little stand from let me know in the comments and I'll I'll find out for you um but I thought this was so incredibly neat because I have tons of earrings and just laying them down trying to find each of them is hard but if you want to look her up like I said she's only selling her earrings for a dollar you guys let me know and I'll give you all of the information down below. But isn't that cute? Girl, I could have put these on today. I may switch them out for you. So I hope you guys like these and like the stand. But let me know and I'll find out where she got this stand from also. And I'll let you guys know. So now let's get to the earrings. No, all right, you guys. So we're back and we're going to get into this eyewear session of the haul because um it's good it's it's really good i hope you guys like it as much as i do and i'm gonna start off with my first pair and i was gifted these this christmas uh, my my son's girlfriend priscilla thank you girl i love you and i thank you so much but she knows i love fashion jewelry gaudy bling everything so she saw a couple pair of glasses and she got them for me for my birthday and christmas so this is my first pair. I, of course, y'all know they were sunglasses. And I'm not the biggest fan of sunglasses, but I love the frame. So I'm probably going to get these, um, take these to where they can put my prescription in for me. If not, I'll just wear them like this because they are so fly. These are the funkiest pair of green. Can you see that green? I love these. You guys, these are amazing. Look at the color on that. It's like an eyelet. There's like a, a cool design on the side. And it's black and gold. But it's really simple. And there's some gold detailing here. But these are funky. Look at the side. 
Look at that green. Isn't that pretty? I think I'm gonna wear these throughout the rest of the uh throughout the rest of the video, y'all. Oh, they almost remind you of some gazelles from back in the day. I know I'm telling my age, so some of y'all come on. Let them children know where it come from. <laughs> these are so good. Look at that, y'all. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I really like these, and they go well with my outfit of the day, which is another green. But I think these, y'all let me know if y'all like these frames. I love big frames. My face is round. So it's almost like it slims my face out even more. But the shape of these are outstanding. I love these, y'all. So we're going to leave these on. And we're going to keep it moving to the next pair. Can you imagine these with a prescription in it? Bam. That's a... That's all right there. Yeah. These are cool, y'all. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment if you like these. Mm, love them. Love them, love them, love them. I know some of y'all probably would have left them as shades. I put them back on when I finished the, the, the rest of them. So let's get into our second pair. Now, this is a pair I'm kind of biased to because I've been having these for years. I just wanted to show them to you guys. This pair right here. <sighs> it's it's so weird um like I said I don't wear a lot of sunglasses so what I did was I used to do phone cases I used to decorate phone cases back in the day um I'm trying to bling everything up y'all and y'all already know that so I took a pair of um regular non-prescriptive glasses and I decorated them and I wanted them to be as gaudy and fun as possible so everywhere I go like when I travel I always wear these because it's a conversation piece for me so look at these y'all now I made these years ago and all I did was took some e6000 and some simple jewelry beads that you find flat beads that you find in like a craft store and they all also make these little um, flowers at the craft store and for less than, I would say, $6. I was able to make these, these stones, these big stones. They all came in, they had like different sizes of stones in this one particular case. And it had all flat back stones in it. But I thought this was probably my favorite pair I think I've ever made. Because y'all know I love bedazzling glasses. But I wear these and I also, because back then um, there was a fad or a phase, everybody, people were going through and there was like this lace detailing. Can you see that lace? And I took some lace and I put it in there. Can you see that? Yeah. I put some lace in there to kind of give it that lace. That's that lace. That's what you're seeing from this side is the lace. Can you see that? There it is. But you can still see through them. They kind of look like sunglasses from the outside, but they're actually not. They're regular, regular glasses. Isn't that cute? I love these. These are like, and I just kind of took it to the side. But I love these, you guys been having these for about 10 years when I want to go somewhere where I know we're going to spark up and have a good time we got some fun to start the conversation off I just wear these because people think you really can't see through these because they kind of look like sunglasses though but it's it's really cool I can see everything just as clear there's no obstruction and I, it, come on somebody move this doll that's what I look, yes, I belong on somebody's tizzoo, on the tizzoo, that's why I'm on the you tizzoo, so <laughs> I hope you guys like these, I just wanted to show them to you, I did not, um, like I said, these are just an older pair that I love, but I wanted to make sure I showed them to you guys. Just to give you an idea of what you can do to a pair of your own glasses, if you have an old pair of glasses that you want to jazz up, 
go to the craft store or, or go on Amazon and get you some beads, honey, and work them glasses back into your regimen, your routine, just by jazzing them up with some stones. A lot of jewelry that you have that's broken. That's why I'm telling about all the pieces my mom sent. Anytime something breaks, you save that jewelry. You can use those pieces of jewelry on things like this and recreate something that you already have. And nobody would be the wiser. So I hope you guys like these. I'm going to go on to my last pair. Because they funky too, y'all. So hold on. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying the haul so far. Like I said, I'm not going to cram everything that I plan to show you. I'm going to kind of break it up. Maybe next week we'll finish it off. But my last pair. I know I'm biased to those. But like I said. My son's girlfriend, Priscilla, um, she went all out, honey, when she found these. So she found these, and I had these in the same box with the other ones. Now, like I said, I'm usually not a sunglass person, but I ain't going to fool with these. We're going to wear these just like they are. These are worthy to be kept as sunglasses. So here they are. Look at that, y'all. Okay, turn that down so maybe you go. Oh, look at the stones already on this piece, y'all. Look at that. Those all that was already done. That was already done. I didn't have to do anything to these. The side is just that cute little opening, and there's like this really cute little um, engraved piece on there. It's really simple on the side because it's so funky in the front. Oh, I love these. So we're going to leave these as glasses as we should. And I think these are amazing. I think this is the, I, I think these are like, I only have two pair of glasses. Um, I think I'm going to show you the other ones. I'm still working on a pair, um, but I want to put one stone here so I can connect those stones together because they kind of left that part empty. Y'all know I'm going to do something to that. So as soon as I do, I'll make sure I keep you guys posted. But I think these are almost perfect. These are so gorgeous. Look at the stones on that. There's so much personality in these glasses. Yes. I love these, y'all. Make sure y'all let me know which pair was your favorite. I, I'm i kind of biased to the ones that I made because I, I love those. And everywhere I go, people, we have a whole conversation about those glasses. But these may be my new favorites. These may be the 2023s, honey. Yes. I hope you guys like these. I love these, girl. Priscilla really outdid herself with these. I'm hoping there are more colors. I'm going to find out if you guys want a pair. I'll find out where she got them from. But I love these. And I think these are so good. So good. Let me know what you guys think. And I'm going to show you my last pair. I know I said that was going to be my last, but I keep forgetting that I had one more pair to show you. Now, this pair is an older pair. Now, this is straight old school right here. Like I said, I don't own a lot of sunglasses. Um, this is probably the only pair that I kept. I used to have a lot of sunglasses. But as I downsized, I realized that I was just holding on to stuff just to say I had it. So I went through and kind of cleaned up. And I realized that I only need to keep a couple pair. And I have um, some old school I'll show you here. But I want to get these, a prescription put in these. Now, when I say vintage, um, the hubby's mom used to wear these, honey, and you couldn't tell her nothing. Now, these are vintage. This that old school Wonder Woman, what I call Wonder Woman style glasses. I love these, but I don't want to wear these. I want to get these a, a frame, I mean a, a prescription put in these. Because I just love that old school frame. I love the way they did things back in the day. But this, I I did these years ago. And I've been having these for years. But I wanted to show them to you guys. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? 
I just put some stones here and a couple of stones on where the screws are. But this reminds me of the old school back in the day. The sun, I love sunglasses like this. They're not heavy. There's not a lot going on. And see how the frame goes from the bottom versus here. It actually holds down here. And I just put some stones here. And I just need to clean them up and, and, and maybe put some new stones on them. But I love these two. But you guys let me know what your favorite is. These are really, really awesome. I just wanted to show you guys. But I think I think this is I think this is the new, the new new. I think these are the new new. I really like those. So let me know what you guys think. And I'll I'm gonna keep these on for the remainder. <sighs> so fresh. Yes. I feel like Urkel and needs a little bit of tape right there. And I, eh, yeah, <laughs> but I love these. And I think that wearing a pair of glasses like this really ups your um, wardrobe because it almost seals your idea. It, it It's almost like it pulls everything together. And I'm not saying you have to wear stuff like this, but I just think putting on something like this, even without the frame in it, because y'all, yes. I told you I wear these without frames. Sometimes I get a, a prescription put in. Sometimes I don't. You don't have to. These your faces, your glasses, whatever you feeling, honey, that's what you do. Whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you smile, that's what you do. So I love doing things like this. It's just really simple. And you can find frames for a dollar. Whatever the case is, you don't have to keep the prescription that's in it. If you love the frame. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like the frames that I had and the glasses and accessories that I've shown you. Make sure you let me not, uh, know in the comment section what was your favorite. I, I love these y'all. I really do. I really do. That green is outstanding, honey. That green is. That green is everything. Oh, that's pretty. So I love you and we'll go ahead and jump into the haul of it all. Let's go, you guys. All right, y'all. So let's get into the haul. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. I hope you're having a marvelous, marvelous Sunday. It is the Lord's Day, and y'all know that is the best day, which is every day should be the Lord's Day, honey. So it should be a good day every day. Do your best to make yourself smile, honey, because if you don't, ain't nobody else going to do it for you. So... Just know if you ever need a smile or somebody to tell you they love you, honey, come on back and get it. Y'all know where to come get it at, girl. So with that being said, honey, let's get into some of these like fabulous like clearance. I went um clearance shopping. Of course, they were here and there when I when I was filling it. I went to the store and Walmart, honey, I'll start with Walmart because they did not disappoint. Walmart has been um on some good clearance stuff uh, right now. So if you need fashion, uh, rugs, home decor. Now, I can't tell y'all nothing about food, honey, because I might show you a picture. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll show you a picture or the video that I took. I don't know when. And can somebody else tell me when 12 eggs cost $22 or $23? So I'll put the video in. The clip where we went to Walmart, honey, and, and tried to get some eggs. 12 eggs for $23. You heard what I said. 23 honey. I could buy a couple of chickens for $23. So uh, if anybody around here in the Virginia Beach area, if y'all got some chickens, call your girls and I'll come to your house and pick them eggs up. Because I ain't giving nobody $23 for 12 eggs. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. Nope. But if you're having that same experience, let me know down in the comments. It, what is going on, y'all? Did it is it a golden egg? Twelve golden eggs, or 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 is there money inside them eggs, or something? Some coupons, or something? Cause uh, I couldn't do it. 
But of course, you know, you just have to kind of go around to other stores as I do with everything else and you find them for the regular price. But honey, I just could not understand. No, some Nobody could make it make sense for me in the store uh, that worked there. So we go ahead and left them there and went to another store and found them. But I didn't mean to jump off topic, but I wanted to somebody tell me, make somebody make that make sense. But oh, that's why I do what I do. That's why I try to show you guys. Make sure you check in all of the different stores. I don't care what you're looking for. Thrift, uh, regular fashion, whatever it is. Look for the deals, girl. Save your coins. We all going to need them in a minute. So make sure you check in for the steals and deals, girl. But Walmart, if you're looking for clearance right now, anything with anything Christmas on it, even if it's not Christmas, i found that there are sales. So I've done a, quite a few videos um, and I'll try to link them, but I've done quite a few videos where I tell you guys, download the Walmart app. I cannot stress that enough. Download that Walmart app because while you're in the store, if you're ever looking for home decor, rugs, sometimes even food, but more so home decor, fashion, jewelry, rugs, anything in, in the other departments, a lot of times when you scan those things, a lot of those prices are wrong. What it says on the actual um, tag and what it's ringing up will ring up at the register is two totally different things. So make sure you download the Walmart app. And as you're going through, you can literally scan. You see something you like, just scan it. A lot of the times the price is going to reflect differently. They just don't either have enough people or Walmart just ain't trying to let you know that a lot of that stuff is on sale. Because if you look at it, you may think, oh, that's too much. I'm not ready to pay that. But if you scan it, it may say a totally different thing. So I'm going to show you guys in a second. Hold on and I'll get into it. All right. So for my first piece, I'm going to show you guys, like I said, if you're, if you see anything with Christmas on it and a lot of it says 75% off and some of it is all in one section, sometimes it's not, but this particular pajama set, um, from Dear Form was a is just a cozy men's pajama set, pants, and a long sleeve top. And I'm always cold, so every time I see things like this, I just get them because you can lounge around the house. But this is a beautiful pair that you can actually go get the mail, walk outside, whatever you got to do, and you don't look like crazy lady with a robe on opening the door with all your yams hanging out, girls. <laughs> no, ma'am, and don't nobody want to see all that. So. Go get you a set like this. And the reason I say that is because if you look at this tag, there is no clearance on this tag. There is no clearance or nothing indicating that this was on sale. This says $17.98, but it was 75% off. So I paid like $4, three or $4 for this entire set. And like I said, it's a pair of pants. And it's a long sleeve, long john top. You cannot beat that. You can use this shirt. It's cute enough to wear. The pants are cute enough to wear with something else. This is awesome. So I got one of these. But little did I know, there was a matching pair of boots or slippers to go with this. So if you know a male or female, anybody, and you know they need some pajamas, girl, if you're tired of seeing somebody walk around in them nasty, dingy pajamas you've been seeing for the last six months, honey, go to Walmart and get them a pair. Because I got both of these for less than $5. And it is literally a whole pajama set and slippers for $5. And I think these are so cute. It's really soft. I, all the boys have them already. So when I saw these, and like I said, there's no indication that these were on clearance. But when you scan it, they were like $2. And it's just the cutest pair to match that. So like I said, if you ever need to run out outside to do anything, you just don't look crazy. You still look put together and chic in your pajamas. So if you need a quick pajama set or you know somebody who do, they had children's sizes, slippers, they had all kinds of things for 75% off. So if you're in the mood for that, go down to Walmart and make sure you do that app. Download that app. So it'll help you out a lot. And like I said, I also went through 
honey, when, once I see something, uh, shows me something is marked down, I know it's time to go peruse and to see what else is marked down. So I just happened to be walking through and I saw these and I just started scanning all of the jeans. Isn't that cute? It's very different. Just a simple pair of jeans. Now I'm, um, these are the kind of jeans you want to wear in the winter time that you can layer things up. And wear a nice pair of those, you know, those Puma boots that I showed you guys previously. I would wear something like that with these. But do you see any clearance? There is no indication that these, um, the, there's a sticker on here for clearance. But if you look at this, everything is brand new. But the tag says $11. Y'all know we're not paying Walmart $11 for no pants. So I got to just to see what it would come up with after I scanned it. Now, I don't know if you can scan it here. I'll leave that there. You may be able to scan it so you can see what I'm talking about. But I downloaded it, the app. Well, I already had the app, but once I scanned it, y'all tell me why these jeans were three pennies. Three cent. I have the receipt and I will show you, but these pants, I'll take a picture of the receipt. These pants were a penny. One I mean, three pennies, three, three cent. I can use, I don't care if I draw on them. I use them for uh, whatever the case is. I, I don't even have to use these as something fancy. These can be my jeans to walk around the house, um, do yard work, whatever, three pennies. I can cut these and make a pair of shorts if I want to. So many things I can do with a pair of jeans for three pennies. But they're a very nice pair of jeans. I just thought they were so cute. And when you see the rest of the stuff I found, you'll see why. Another reason why I got them. But if y'all need some jeans, there were a lot of jeans. And I'm going to show you another pair. Um, they had quite a few pair. And the most, um, of course, were $11. But they had many, many pairs for $4 and under. But these were three pennies, y'all. So make sure you're scanning things in Walmart as you're walking through. So. I just wanted to show you a couple of these things and then we'll get into the rest of the Walmart fashion that I found. Let's go. All right, you guys. So we're going to get into my last couple of pieces that I found at Walmart because like I said, they had so many, but um, I'm trying to get into the practice of only buying things that I really want to show you guys or really think that if I decide to start when I start to reselling that these are going to be things that you guys may enjoy to buy at the same price or whatever that I purchased them for, but they're worth it. So I did find another pair of jeans. I'm a jeans fanatic. I love jeans. I love jeans. I'm the girl at the fancy occasion fly with a pair of jeans on. I just love jeans. So I was, like I said, I was in Walmart and it's almost the same color denim, but these are called mom rise. The other ones are more that distressed <clears throat> at the bottom, but these are just so really cool and relaxing and there's some stretch in here, but they're just a distressed pair of jeans and they're kind of cut at the bottom. And just really simple. Now this pair was saying that they were $7, which is a really good price. And it's nothing to shake a stick at. It's a really good price. But when you scanned it in your Walmart app, they were coming up $3. So I got these. And they're, I mean, the distressing is really good. I love stuff like this. You guys know I have a lot of pair pairs of distressed jeans. But for $3, that's my goodwill. That's like my thrift store price. So I got these um, because I want to show you a top that they go with. And I could not believe this, y'all. But I, swap. I love sharing this information with y'all. So as I was looking at those, this was right on the side of it. And this went with it. Can you see that? It is a shacket. A jean shacket. And the, the brand is called Celebrity Pink. And this is, it's, it's just, it's nice and weighty, but it's a shacket. It's like a shirt jacket and I got it oversized. It is a large, but it comes more so oversized. So it's not fitting like a shirt. It's fitting more like a shirt jacket, like it says. But this particular um, shacket is that same denim, that same color. 
denim. And it's just that light wash. It's really, really cute. See how it rounds off at the ends? Very feminine. So it's not boxed off. It's not going to box you up. It has more of that roundness here. The same way I cut my t-shirts. Isn't that pretty? And it's really going to shape you more versus, you know how they, they make all other jean jackets square? That SpongeBob square pan. We ain't doing that. So this was so, so cute. And if you look at this, I'm trying to see where the tag is. Here it is. Now this tag says $29. Now, for me, even though this went with those jeans, y'all know I wasn't finna pay $29 for this jacket. This jacket was $3. It was $3. So, the only way I would have known that is through that Walmart app. I think it was, maybe, I think it was $4. Because I think I paid $7 and change for both with tax. It was almost $8 for both with tax. So, I think this was actually 4 but I got a whole jean set for less than ten dollars. <laughs> it, it's I never would have known that if I would not have scanned it with that Walmart app. This I don't know. Like I said, it's different at different Walmarts. Your what your store may scan may be different than mine. But if I can't tell you enough, that Walmart app always comes in handy. But to pay. Four dollars for something that really says twenty nine thirty dollars. There's no clearance tag on this. There is absolutely no clearance tag on this whatsoever. And and at thirty dollars, it's really cute, but we don't do that around here. So when I scanned it and saw that it was that price, I knew it was coming home with me. And I can wear this with any other pair of jeans that I have. Things that are not jeans because it's a shacket. It's not just a shirt. It's a shirt jacket. So I can throw this over what I have on today. My outfit of the, the day today. And just throw on some boots and be casually cute and comfortable. But I just wanted to show you guys what I mean when I always tell you. Download that Walmart app and let me know what you find. I'm telling you, it really helps. Sometimes the food is the same way. So let me know if that helps you guys. And I'm just going to style this up with those same jeans. And I'm just going to throw on a, a crisp white top or I may leave this top on just to show you guys what it looks like together. But I hope that helps you guys. Let me know in the comment section if you download it and it works, honey. Let me know what you find. I love you. And let's get on to a thrift session, girl. All right, you guys, so I'm going to show you um, the Goodwill pieces that I found. I just have a couple to show you today, but I want to start with this cool pair of shoes that I found. And these are awesome. I love these, you guys. Now, the heel looks pretty high, but it's actually not. There is a heel or a platform in here that kind of takes away from the heel so you're not as um, angled. So it makes it really comfortable. There's that zipper there to easy in, easy out with that buckle. And shoes like this, you can throw on a nice necklace around this if you want to jazz this up. But I got these because when I saw them, I was like, okay, I don't own anything like this. And they're very cool and very comfortable, actually. Um, but very simple. So if I wanted to do a lot of detailing here, um, I could if I get bored with them. But I like these, but I got them because I wanted, once I saw them and I knew I needed them, I saw this. And this is just a maxi dress that is the almost the exact color of these. And it's just that, that see that deep blue in there? It kind of brings that out. And I thought this would be really cute to wear together. And things like this I like to buy because I like to use these as layering pieces. Now, like I said, I'm only 5'3", so it doesn't take much to be maxi for me. So a, a, a simple outfit like this, I would definitely throw on, leave on some pants like this to keep me warm underneath. But I would definitely throw on a tank top, 
In the summertime, you can wear a tank top underneath here. In the winter, you throw on a turtleneck or you can throw on a button-down top, um, men's shirt, women's shirt, and it would be just as cool to layer this on the top of. And what I mean by that is in the, in the winter, if you have one that you like haven't worn in a while, you want to throw away, don't throw it away. Cut the sides on it, and then it becomes more like one of those um, billowy tops. And it becomes like a maxi top or a maxi shirt for you. And you leave on the pants. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to style this up. But I cut the sides. And as you wear it, it looks more like a dress from the front. And then the minute you start moving, you can see that you've layered it up on top of or use it. You're using it as a shirt or a layering piece. And it's really, really cool but comfortable. This isn't heavy. But it's more so just to bring your uh, your outfit up a notch so i hope you guys like the way i styled it up this dress was from goodwill i left the tag on right here and of course you know that means their dresses are 6.99 um regular price but because it was the color today it was half off so i only paid 350 for this but i think this would be so cute to layer this up and i'm gonna layer it with this maxi top so i'm just gonna throw this underneath and I'll have these pants on under just to bring out that white. And it's just like I said, once you layer this up, you'll see what I am I mean by that. And it's so cute and so different because you think the person has on a dress. And the minute you start moving, you can see the pants underneath. And it's just like this really cool, um, different take on a maxi dress. So instead of throwing it out, you can use it in this way. And sometimes I can cut it, you can cut it straight up the front. And it'll open up and it'll just be more like a cape style. But this time I wanted to cut it on the side. So I just cut the sides and it has pockets. So I just cut up the side and then you leave the pocket seam out on that side so you can continue to be able to use the pockets. So I hope you guys like this layering effect. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you try it, let me know how it works out for you. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to our next pieces that we found. All right, you guys, so my last couple of pieces came from a store called Alco and Gallo. And it's crazy because this store, if you're in the Virginia area or the Virginia Beach area, it's actually in Norfolk. It's in the Janoff Shopping Center. And it's more, it's the coolest store ever because one whole side of the store is for nurses all and doctors, all of the wear and gear stethoscopes it's it's so random but the store one whole side is for um their clothing their accessories for anything the hospital that they need and then the other store is fashion so i guess they figured the nurses in here anyway they might as well shop and shop alike honey so they had all of this in one store and i went in there and i was just kind of walking around um and i found some really cool pieces i put a lot of them back because I didn't want to just be buying stuff because I get in that habit. That is my spirit. And I, this is a new year. So I'm trying to narrow things down to just good quality pieces instead of just buying random things because they're cheap. But I'll show you the two that I found. Now, this is something that I knew I could wear throughout the entire winter. I could use as a layering piece. Um, if I can't use it in my head on multiple ways, wait, I'm not buying it no more. That's just my motto for this year. So I saw this um, haltered sweater and it's just simple. Sometimes simple is the best way to go, but it's just this simple um, haltered sweater. And all of their, um, if you go there, all of their winter pieces right now are 40% off. And so this was $8, but I thought it was worth it because it's very weighty. The quality is amazing. It has that ribbed. Can you see that? That rib detailing. And this is like classic. Sometimes you just need classic pieces to put together for your wardrobe. Sometimes you don't need all the fancy, you know, gaudy bling. You need things to wear. That way, if you have really bold pieces of jewelry or pants or whatever your accessory is, that can be the standout. So I knew I needed a black sweater to wear, just something really simple that I can wear with um, my pieces. 
And I saw this and was like, that's it. That's that's very classic, very simple, um, very understated, but something I knew I needed that I do not have. A lot of my stuff is either oversized or it has a lot of writing on it. Um, and not to get off topic, but can we stop putting queen on everything? Okay, back to the haul. Just wanted to let that out. So if you agree, let me know in the comment section. We know we're queens. I don't need it all the way across my bosoms. Yeah, we grown. Do we? And don't need to tell everybody about it. Like the head, here it goes. So I love this piece. I hope you guys like this. But I needed something simple. I just needed a black simple sweater, and this was it. I hope you guys like it. And like I said, it's just a simple crop. But it's not that crop where it's going to stop here. It'll actually stop or hit me at my waistline because of my height. So I hope you guys like that. But I saw this and I had to get it. I'm really, I told y'all, I don't know what it is right now, but I'm really into sweaters. Um, I've never been a sweater girl until now. But I found this really beautiful. It's not heavy. I won't say it's heavy, but it kind of gives you that Fendi or that Dior sweater look. And it's just so pretty. It looks busy, but it, it looks simple. It's so odd how I can explain it to you. It has a hood. And I just thought as a layering piece, this would be so cute, even on, on top of that black sweater, if I decide to wear that black sweater. And I may just throw on the black sweater with these uh, pants here just to show you the look. But I just, it's, it's midi length. But I just thought with a simple pair of jeans, honey, and those Puma, once again, those Puma platform boots, I just thought this would be so pretty. A black turtleneck or a black t-shirt with this and some black jeans or some, some denim jeans, any kind of jeans, uh, a pencil skirt. This can go so many different ways. And this was, um, I think this was $12. But I just thought it was so pretty and it has po pockets that are functioning. You know, I love a good pocket, but I thought this was so really, it's a two X. So I didn't want to get it to fit too tight. They had it to where it was more fitting and I wanted it to be more oversized, but I thought this was so pretty and look at the quality on that. You guys, I just think that this is very, very pretty. I hope you guys like it. It's really simple. Um, there are no buttons on it. That's why I liked it. There's no buttons. You just throw it on and go, you know, like, like I said, when I need to go to the post office, I need to go to the store, whatever the case is. And it, it is one of those days like today or yesterday where it was like seven, not 70. It was like in the fifties, something like this would do you really, really good. You could even throw it on with something like this and just throw that over it with a pair of jeans, just so many different ways you could wear this, but I hope you guys like it. I did want to show it to you guys. That's my last, this is my last piece. I'm keeping it simple this week and we're going to jump back. And like I said, hopefully we'll feel better every week. God is amazing. I have been feeling better and I thank you for your prayers and your comments, honey. I love reading them. They help me uh, feel better throughout the week. So if you leave me a comment, I promise I will get back to you because I love you and I thank you. But I love this, you guys. Let me know what you think. And I love the contrast that they have on the pocket. See how that pocket has that that black trim? So it kind of fades in. It's not gaudy at all. I love it. I really hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think of the haul. And let's get to our favorite part of the video, you guys. <music> All right, you guys, so I forgot to let you know that my outfit of the day is also one of my Goodwill finds. It's just a simple pair of white jeggings. They're really, really thin, very simple, just a white pair of jeggings, nothing fancy. And this peplum top, it was on the 50% off, so it was like $1.98. But the pants were, I think, like $4, but they were 50% off. So less than $5, y'all. This is my outfit for the day. We're keeping it simple with these bubble sleeves. Can you guys see that? It's just something simple. 
just wanted to keep it simple today. Um, but I really like the way the peplum always hides all the goodness, girl. Love a good peplum my best friend, <laughs> but I, I really hope you guys enjoy. Um, I would throw a belt on if I were going somewhere, but I ain't going away, y'all. I'm going to put them pajamas on and we're going to relax and edit for the rest of the day. And hopefully this week, like I said, you guys, I'll be able to get into um, a little more of a working out. It won't be my full workout, but I'm hoping that God willing, I'll be able to go walk on the treadmill because I still am a little windy. My throat, um, it's still healing, but I love you and I thank God that you guys are here to pray for me and sending me your kind words. I I really love you guys. I appreciate you. And throughout this whole ordeal, um, just reading your comments were just so awesome. And um, it really filled my spirit to keep getting these hauls out because this is why I started this channel so I can interact with other people of faith and other people who I knew that I had these cool tips and things that I was learning that I wanted to share with everybody else. So I hope that throughout the last year that I have, you know, inspired you or left you with something that um, God allowed me to learn that I was able to pass on to you. So if you ever do something um, that Either I've shown you something that helped. Let me know in the comment section, girl, because it really helps me to know what you guys like and what I need to start um, putting more effort into. My next couple of hauls I'm working on, um, I want to teach you guys how to, we can make our own t-shirts. You know, how you can, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting everything together and learning myself, but I want to start making t-shirts because I love a good graphic tee and there are so many different ways to do it, but I want to narrow it down to the easiest, more resourceful, budget friendly way. So if that's something you guys are into, let me know in the comments and I'll keep my journey going of learning so I can pass the information on to you guys. I also have a couple of hauls coming up. I'm waiting on stuff from Fashion Nova. I want to start branching out to other things besides thrifting so i hope you guys uh give me grace and we can all get this together but of course y'all know it's gonna be from the clearance section so my goal this year is to start doing other fashion brands but still shop from their clearance to show you that you can still be cute and shop at these brands because they all got clearance girls so i just want you to know that i love you and if you have a small business or know somebody with one make sure you check out my p.o box if you sent something or if you just out shopping, girl, and you want to send me something to show on the channel, I'll put all my information down below and we'll share with the, with the girls because the girls love the girls, honey. We love each other around here. So I love you today. I hope you have a marvelous day. Make sure you call somebody and tell them you love them today, honey, because God loved you first and you're supposed to share that love. So I love you. I hope you have a, an amazing day. We made it through another vlog, y'all. I love y'all. Pray for me. We're going to get better and better every day. And I'll see you guys next week on Thick Chick Thrifts. I love y'all. Thick Chicks, we just be thrifting. Thick Chicks, we just be thrifting. Thick Chicks, we just be thrifting. Don't you want to thrift with me? Thick Chicks, we just be thrifting.